Okay, we're going to talk about scatter plots and correlation. You've probably seen scatter plots in previous math courses. So we're going to talk about what positive and negative correlation are, and then something they call the correlation coefficient, which if you ever take statistics, they'll show you a more exact way to calculate it, but we're going to just talk about it in general. Okay. Scatter plots. Well, let's make a scatter plot here and show one that might have positive correlation. Okay, we have an X and a Y. Let's say we make X the number of hours you spend studying. for a test and we'll make Y your test grade. We'll make a scale here on the left would be your test grades and across the bottom we'll put down hours spent studying Okay, the idea being here is the more hours in, say, studying might include homework and actually studying for the test. Now, each dot or plot on this will be, represent a different person. For example, one person that spends three hours studying might get, say, an 82. Another person perhaps would get something around... A 93. They're not all going to be exactly the same. A person that spends one hour doing homework and studying might get a 43. Another one might get a 60. A person that spends only a half hour, perhaps one of those persons would get a 30. Maybe another would get a 40. person that spends four hours, perhaps one person might score about an 85, another one might score 78, another one might score a 95. A person studying five hours, well perhaps one person gets 100, another an 85. And maybe we'll pull in another person to study two hours and they got a 70. Now, this is a scatter plot. The idea is if the plot rises from left to right, it is called a positive correlation. As your hours studying increases, your test grade goes up. And they'll talk about best fitting lines we're just going to draw like an approximation of one not an exact one if you do take statistics there are ways of calculating a more exact fit but it's approximately where a line where you would have half above and half below half of your plots above and half below the line so we'll just draw an approximate line of best fit Okay, positive correlation. As the X goes up, the Y goes up. And the trend you would see would be an upward line. Negative correlation. Well, something that might be negative correlation could be something that would compare the age of a car and the dollar value of the car. And we'll put this in thousands of dollars. So make that 10, 20, 
and the age of the car go by years and we'll just jump out and put 10 out there now in general and of course there's always exceptions that's why the points don't always lie on the same point in general as a car gets older its value decreases so say we had a car that was valued at 22,000 when it was new the minute it comes off the showroom floor it lose, generally will lose a couple thousand dollars in value now there may be another maker model of a car that will not decrease in value that perhaps also costs twenty two thousand dollars no so one car its value after two years may have decreased down to here another car it could even be the same model depending on condition and maintenance may have maintained more value another one might have less a three-year-old car well it will lose some value again but not every car is going to lose value at the same exact rate so even if they all started at 22,000 it could vary but in any event the value of the car as you go along will generally decrease you could plot points just each of these representing an individual car so what generally happens is as the age of the car increases the value of the car will decrease and if we did a line of best fit it would approximately be something like this about half the points above and half below and no correlation there's many things that don't have any correlation with each other if you see a plot where the points are pretty much all over the place whatever it is you're comparing something like this we would say has no correlation now the correlation coefficient which is abbreviated with lowercase r if it's strong correlation if it's strong positive correlation we r is close to positive one if it's strong negative correlation is close to negative one and just so we don't get too specific we'll say okay if there's moderate moderate correlation will be plus five or negative five something that has a correlation close to positive one would have its points per, very much close to forming a line that would be something with a correlation of close to positive one if something has again its points pretty much falling very much in a close line going down that would be something that would be very close to negative one in its correlation something like this where okay we definitely have a positive upward correlation but it's not as strong it's a little more spread out that we would say okay that's close to it's positive because it's going up 0.5 or a half something that again the points tend to go down but they're not as tightly packed together in a line this would be a approximately a negative 0.5 in any event correlation ranges from 0 to positive 1 or 0 to negative 1 and that's about all the, the more depth we're going to go into in this section
and that's it.